Hey guys, my name is Ahmed and welcome back to FPL Clue for another video. Today we will be doing a wildcard draft for Game Week 9. If you're already on wildcard or if you're planning to pull the trigger just before the deadline, then this video is for you. Please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel and without any further ado, let's jump into the video. So let's start off with defense. So this wildcard draft is a 3-5-2 formation and it 0.6 million team value and in goal I'll go with the Turner and Ariolo combination of course Turner will play Luton at home in game week 9 so he'll be the starting goalkeeper and of course Ariolo from game week 10 up until game week 17 I have a very decent fixture so I would be more than happy to play him in every game from game week 10 and onward and then Dan Burner is also having some some decent fixtures they have they are playing Arsenal away, so I have in the bench Gabriel. So if I have to play between him and Gabriel, of course I'm gonna play Gabriel because he can also give me some attacking potential there. Unless it was Trippier, then it was a it was a different scenario. So I would have played him ahead of Gabriel, and then I have Cash, who is also having some decent fixture from game week ten and onwards. Even in game week nine, you can expect some attacking returns from him against West Ham. And Nudoge is the third playing defender for game week nine, playing Fulham at home. And then after that, they have a mixture of easy and difficult fixtures, and it, you can easily rotate him or even bench him. Fully, because probably Burn, Cash, and Gabriel will play most of the games. And then of course I have the cheapest. A defender as my third bench, Charlie Taylor of Burnley. So these are the defensive players for this wildcard draft. Moving into the midfield, there is triple up in two teams and Spurs is one of them. I have Son and Madsen alongside Yudogi in this draft. So you can easily keep them from game week 8, 9, from game week 9, 10 and 11. And in game week 12, if you have two free transfers, you can go Son to Saka and Madison to someone like Martin Lee. You can even make those moves in game 10 when they play Sheffield United. But right after that, they have Newcastle. So it's better to hold on to your Spurs triple up until game 12. And also, I have Salah in this draft. So in order to accommodate Salah and the likes of Erling Haaland and Holly Watkins that we'll talk about later in the video, I had to bring some cheaper midfielders as well. So Pedro Neto is one of them. He is in an incredible form. The, uh, he has a mixture of easy and difficult fixtures. So if you don't want to go with him, you, that's absolutely fine. You can also go with so, someone like Gordon of Newcastle. And then Diaby will have some great run of fixtures from game 10 and onwards. So that's why he is also in this draft. So a triple up of Son. Saka and Yudogi and a triple up of Cash, Diaby and Watkins that we'll talk about in our forward section. Moving into the forwards, I have Erling Haaland and Oli Watkins. Erling Haaland is not performing to the highest standard that he set last year, but he is still a must have in my opinion. If you're playing wildcard or if you're not playing wildcard, he is an absolute must have. I know their fixture run is not very good from now until close to game 18 when they have a blank but i think erling haaland is still one of those essentials he, he can easily change the game and change your ranks as well and then of course i have watkins here if you don't have the fan for watkins you can also go with someone like darwin nunez but if you have the fan for watkins you can keep him or gabriel jesus again like from game 10 and onwards is a decent shout and also, if you don't have that much funds, then you can also go down to Julian Alvarez, who I think is still uh, a, a good choice, uh, at least until the arrival of KDB. And then after that, we will see how, how it go. And then my third forward in the bench is Archer. So he will stay mostly in the bench. But if I have some difficult fixtures for my defenders or midfielders here or there, I can also go ahead and play him. But other than that, this is the Game Ignite wildcard draft for you. 
And that's it for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed the content. If you do so, please make sure to leave a like to the video and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys again soon. Oh, it's supposed to